Hello and welcome to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, let's do some troubleshooting with our water heater. Specifically, if your water heater pilot is not staying lit, this might just be the video for you. Especially if you have this kind of a gas valve module. Um, and also, if you look at the bottom of this uh, water heater, the first thing we're going to check out is where our air goes into this system. So in this model right here, the air intake is down here and it goes up through a filter grate down here. And that's the first thing I'm going to have you check. So what you need to do is if it does have a filter grate underneath there, you need to turn the system to off, let the system cool down for a while, and then you need to get a brush like this guy right here. And you're going to clean that filter grate down there. Spend 90 seconds or so, clean it up, vacuum up down there a little bit before you light that pilot back up and see if that fixes your problem. That's the problem I was having with this particular one. And when I called the manufacturer, they let me know that this system is much more sensitive and that that filter grate, it clogs pretty easily. I think it's partly because of the location it's at and maybe the holes are, are kind of small. Whatever the reason is, you're going to have to clean down there with a brush like this every maybe two to three months. Just do a quick clean down there. Again, the only pain in the neck is you need to turn the system off to safely do this. So you're going to have to turn it off and then go through that lighting procedure again. Speaking of the lighting procedure, let's walk up here to our instructions on our water heater. Hey, when you go to light this guy, you need to follow these instructions. This kind of a module, the instructions are different than the old style of water heater modules. So make sure you walk through those instructions, especially where it talks about how much time you need to take in between each attempt at trying to light the water heater. So every time you try to light this thing, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes between your next attempt at trying to light it. And it even tells you right here that there's circuitry inside this guy that is trying to stop you from um, trying to rush through that system. In other words, if you don't wait those, wait those 10 minutes, it might not let you light the pilot and the pilot might not stay lit because it doesn't like that you are not waiting the right amount of time. And waiting that right amount of time, it's really for safety reasons, right? When you go to try to light this guy, you're pushing this button in here and you're pushing your zapper here. But when you push this in, you're sending some gas down through the pilot. You do that for 90 seconds while you're trying to light it. And while you're doing that, gas is building up down here. So if it did not light, you've got some gas that is unburnt down there. And then that fuel needs to dissipate um, before you attempt that next try at trying to light it. So that's why it has you wait that 10 minutes. By the way, if you ever smell gas around this guy, don't try to light this thing. You need to get out of that building, call, get some help over there. But you should never smell gas around an appliance like this, a water heater like this when you're trying to light it. So my next piece of advice is you have a thermal couple switch. It tells you right here. So you can take this guy off. Here's the thermal couple switch. This guy right here, it kind of sticks out a little bit. So it's a little bit tricky to tell if it is popped out or not. Here's all you have to do. Just put your finger on it, put a small amount of pressure, not very much at all, and just push in on it. Chances are it's not going to move at all, and that means that it's not pushed out or it hasn't um, popped. And if you do push in a little bit and you kind of hear it click and push in a little bit, that is probably the reason why your system shut off. So you can go ahead and try to relight your system at that point and see if it works. If this guy keeps popping out, obviously that's a symptom of a larger problem. My opinion is that's where it's time to start calling for some help. Get a pro over there to see what's going on. Speaking of phone calls, this particular model has a sticker right here and it tells you to call that number if you're having problems with your uh, performance of your water heater. I called them and they're the ones who helped me out with some of these tips that I just showed you. Obviously this phone number is going to be for this specific make and model, but you can see if you have a sticker similar to that one right there on your water heater. They were surprisingly helpful and uh, really did everything they could to help me out to get mine back up and going. If these things are not working, there's a good chance that you have a module that is malfunctioning or not working. Maybe you need to replace the uh, thermal couple, something like that. My opinion is that's when it's time to call a pro, get it done right, get it done safe. All right, friends, hope this helped you out. We'll see you next time. Bye.